It is all that on the markets and that's your RS exchange at this time. I am Bosu Number 5. We thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you again. Mr. Speaker, and honorable members of the Cohesive House of Assembly, I wish to start by appreciating the Almighty God for all He has done for us as a state over the last eight years of this administration. Despite the turbulent times which we have passed through and the very challenging circumstances, which confronted leaders all over the world. Conquistate is still standing firm and making progress to the glory of God. We cannot thank God enough by the message. Blessings and protections upon our states and its people. Mr. Speaker and honorable members can attest we met a state that was comatose in 2016. And today we are coming closer to handing over to our successors. A state that is measuring decently high in all growth and development indices. The quality of life of our people, which we have worked so hard together to uplift, to uplift these eight years has improved verifiably when benchmarked against the Sustainable Development Goals and the United Nations Multidimensional Poverty Index. Mr. Speaker and honorable members, I also want to deeply and humbly appreciate the good people of Kogi State. Their unflinching loyalty and overwhelming support led to our last night victory at the 2023 Kogi State Governorship Elections on November 11. Mr. Speaker, it was most gratifying to see communities come together to overwhelmingly vote for us while chanting our projects as their reason, just like we saw in that viral video from one polling unit in Kogi West. Speaker, honorable members, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me draw your mind to that particular video. When APC votes have been counted, one, university, two, university, three, university, hundred, university, thousand. I assure us that even as a sitting government, it was the best thing ever, such a glorious feeling to see our people recognizing our good work so openly and reward us for it in a way that really counts. I thank you all. This victory of the APC is a victory for all comrades, far and near. It is a victory for a knowledgeable people who ignore all sorts of unprogressive agenda to vote for the continuity and consolidation of transformational leadership and good governance in Kogi States. I assure our people that in the coming administration of His Excellency, the Governor-elect, Ahmed Usman Kurudu and his deputy, 
Conrad Joel Oyibusalif will hit the ground running. They are the beneficiaries of the solid foundation that our administration has laid in all sectors during our two terms. And they are fully mentored and equipped to respond to the day-to-day -day yearnings and aspirations of our people and to deliver for us all and without discrimination a state that works for everyone. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the key assumptions that inform our projection for the year 2024 are contained in the table below. National inflation is projected to be at 17.16%. National real GDP growth is projected to be at 3.75%. Oil production by benchmark, 1.72. Oil price benchmark, $75 per barrel. And the exchange rate, $700 to the dollar. Mr. Speaker, Honorable members, it is in the light of the above that the year 2024 budget draft has been drafted to enhance internally generated revenue. Aggressively pursue repayments of our debt owed to us by the federal government. Provide a more in conducive environment for our developmental partners across the world to contribute to the state economy. Mobilize private sector investment to the state. Encourage public private partnership and other importantly, and more importantly, block all wastages and leakages in our revenues, as well as emphasize the completion of all the ongoing projects and programs while bringing on board few new critical ones that are in line with the priorities of the new direction administration. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to be able to drive in our IGR more effectively, we are going ahead to ensure that all forms of illegal mining in the states are completely stopped. And as a matter of fact, we have charged all the security agencies and our judiciary that every illegally acquired or all acquired assets and properties arising from this illegal mining, we shall cover them and make them to be part of the state's ITR by the grace of God. Review of 2023 revised Budget performance. Mr. Speaker, sir, honorable members, you will recall that 2023 revised budget was tagged budget of transformation by this administration. And the total revised budget for the year 2023 was 197.599 billion for both borrowed and capital expenditure. The approved recurrent revenue for 2023 was 135.757 billion, out of which 85.016 billion was collected as at the end of September 2023, representing 62.62% .62 performance. The approved capital received for the same period was 61.842 billion, out of which 27.939 billion was released, representing 45.18% performance as at the end of September 2023. 2024 budget of consolidation 
and continuity for inclusive growth. Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members of this Hallow Chambers, our year 2024 draft budget is designed to enhance the, to enhance the mobilization of IGR. Collected all the same by the federal government, continue to collect and recover the state equity share in Obagena Cement Company, provide a more conducive environment for our developmental partners from all over the world in order to contribute maximally to the state's economy. Also, the draft budget is drafted to further attract private sector investment to the state, encounter public-private partnership, and precise completion of ongoing projects while bringing on board new ones. And most importantly, eliminate wastes and leakages from the state revenue value chain. This is why, as stated earlier, this draft budget for 2024 is proposed as budget of consolidation and continuity for inclusive growth. To this end, the budget has an estimated outlay of 258 billion, 278,501,339 for the year 2024, as against 197 billion, 599,674,912 Naira revised approved for the year 2023. This makes the year 2024 drop budget higher by 60 billion, Six hundred and seventy eight million eight hundred and twenty six thousand four hundred and twenty seven naira zero goal compared to twenty twenty three budget uh, revised budget representing a thirty point seven one percent increase. The twenty twenty three to twenty twenty five multi year budget is promised. Is premised on zero based budgeting principles and is tailored towards actualization of our 32 year state development plan. Budget object objectives and targets, Mr. Speaker, honorable members. We have tried to ensure that our good governance aspirations find expression in the 2023 budget with the specific fiscal objective being effective allocation of scarce resources to identify critical programs and projects. Summary of the 2024 draft revenue and expenditure estimates. In summary, the draft 2024 revenue and expenditure estimates, that is, the proposed 2024 budget, has an estimated outlay of 258 billion, 278 million, 501,339 naira, zero code. This total budget outlay of 258 billion, 501,339 naira, zero is divided into recurrent expenditure of 149 billion, 145 billion, 736 million, 429,609 naira, zero representing 56.43% and capital expenditure of 112 billion 542 million 
730 Naira, zero co, representing 43.57%. This summary is graphically represented in the table below. Now we go to the various sector allocation. We have code 1 that represents administration as a sector, has an allocation of 64,314,563,308 Naira, representing 24.90 Could two economic it has an allocation of eighty two billion seven million seven hundred and twenty nine thousand eight hundred and sixty seven naira, representing thirty point seven five per cent. Could three law and justice. It has allocation of forty billion nine hundred and seventy five million three hundred and fifty nine thousand eight hundred and nine naira represented five point eight zero coal. Code four social. It has allocation. Of ninety six billion nine hundred and eighty million eight hundred and forty eight thousand three hundred and forty five naira, representing thirty seven point five five percent. Cumulatively, we have two hundred and fifty eight billion two hundred and seventy eight million. Five hundred and one thousand three hundred and thirty-nine naira, representing one hundred percent. I now have the singular honor and privilege to invite this honorable house to note one that a total estimated recorded revenue of one hundred and sixty-eight billion four hundred and six billion one hundred and thirty-eight thousand. 861 consists of 30 billion 235 million 332,685 from the internal source 85 billion 650 million 179,027 naira as statutory allocation from the Federation account. Thirty four billion and seventeen billion seventy eight thousand four hundred and twenty one naira from value added tax two billion four million three hundred and seventy three thousand one hundred and one naira from budget augmentation six billion Three hundred and ninety two million seven hundred and four thousand eight hundred and seventy four naira from exchange differentials four hundred and eighteen million three hundred and three thousand nine hundred and fifty one from non oil revenue two billion five hundred and seventy seven million seven hundred and 98,101 from forex equalization. 200 million from recovery exchange, excess bank exchange. 910 million, 368,701 from solid euro. And six billion from electric money transfer. Equally note number two that the recurrent revenue for year 2024 stands at 
As I bid farewell to this honorable house today, I wish to extend my heartfelt gratitude again for your dedication to our state and people over the years and commitment to the growth and success of our dead states. As January 2027, as January 27, 2024, when I will wind down my administration approaches, and we all prepare to welcome the new government of His Excellency Governor-elect Ahmed Usman Kondo, it is my heartfelt desire that you, you extend even greater level of cooperation to him. I look forward to seeing the incoming administration building on our foundation laid by mine while working together with all stakeholders across the state to achieve even greater heights when we need. Let us therefore embrace this transition with excitement and optimism, knowing that our collective efforts will propel our states to new horizons. I thank Mr. Speaker, I thank my team for their faithful service. We came from different backgrounds and unite for the best interests of our states and people. Despite notable hiccups, we have become a family that cannot be broken. We will walk through any problem we may have with each other and find common ground for which to mentor our successors and move on to the next level of our own lives and careers. I extend my sincere gratitude to His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, for his leadership to us, a nation in the past seven months, during which really hard but necessary decisions have been taken, which will no doubt help Nigeria to work better for all Nigerians. Mr. President has also inspired our own leadership into doing what is necessary, even, even if it's not experienced at the moment. Mr. President, we thank you. God bless Kogi State, God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria, and God bless all. To God be the glory. Thank you for that.